We speak to Arcona Yacht CEO Urban Lingneus about the new Arcona 50 that's currently in build. It's been a very exciting time. We have a, a new designer in Jeppesen and Pons. We have uh, bought this production yard here in Uddevalla. We have also bought a service yard, which is one of the biggest in Sweden. And uh, during this year, we have also increased the dealer net in the, especially Southern Europe. Busy times. Tell us more about the Arcona 50. Jepsen and Pons first task was to make a new flagship for us. It's going to be a 50 feet boat with a garage and a little bit uh, larger than we ever built before and a little bit more for blue water sailing. The 50 is now in production here in Uddevalla in Sweden and we are very proud of that. The boat is planned to be launched and sailed the summer now, 23. We will show the boat at Open Yard in, in uh, Orus, just around the corner here. So we are very glad to have the first show in Sweden with a Swedish product. Now, let's have a look at the new Arcona flagship that's in build here at the yard. Here we have the bow thruster for it. You can also have a stern thruster, which this one have. You can also see that it's a flagship because it's so much larger than the other boats, so we cannot produce it with the keel. We cannot get it out then. So we have to put the keel on afterwards, outdoor. This one will be the first one we will have on the boat shows, and we will have it in August, and then we go to Southampton. We will do a road trip if you can say so with a boat, yeah. in Europe. An ocean trip. An ocean trip, yes. The mast is coming from John Mast in Denmark. Oh, okay. You can have optional uh, John Mast, which is a standard aluminium mast. You can also have a carbon mast. And then it will come from Axon that we normally use. It's the first one with twin rudders. And uh, the reason is because it's a very, very wide boat in the aft. So when you lean, you need one rudder at least in the water. And it's... It's quite common on a boat like this with, with this modern shape because it's a very modern hull. It's a beamy boat. The construction of the yacht, it's an e-glass boat with a steel, galvanized steel cradle frame. It's, a, it's, it's backbone in the boat in all our corners. It's our system of thinking of safety and of uh, making a boat as strong as possible with as less weight as possible. And then you think steel is heavy, yes, but it's in the bottom. And it's a very matter of safety because we bolt the keel to the frame. So the keel is not in the hull, it's, it's bolted to the frame and the mass is on the frame. And we have special reinforcement from the, from the shrouds down to the frame. So it's the load bearing structure of the boat. And it's absolutely the backbone of the boat. This is what keeps the boats together. Will it be an L ship, Kelly? This first one will have an L ship. We also have another one with, with two longer benches over here and then you get a free access into the sofa instead. I'm standing in the port aft cabin, roomy. Yeah. I mean, you can be a little bit taller than I am. A little bit taller than you are. Full size bed and uh, this one will have two splitter beds and you have a filler. And this one is uh, with oak as you see. Also available with mahogany. Yeah. Now we're very much in the shell, but to talk me through the vision about the interior. The vision is that it should be, uh, we should still keep the Scandinavian style, but a little bit more minimalistic in this boat, a little bit more modern minimalistic. Airy, light, and, uh, and, and, and spacious and, and, and modern. Uh, but still with the traditional three cabin layout, so you have the owner's cabin, aft cabins, large salon for socializing. Yes, many people have tried so many different solutions, but it often ends up that you come to this solution because it works. You know that it works and it's, it's more or less the best way to do it. Owner's cabin. Island bed. Island bed, yes. You will have a, in both uh, heads you have separate showers and a separate toilet. And, and that you also, like you do the performance racing, you've had a long day, maybe you've sailed the spinnaker, there's been waves, there's been high speeds, come to the jetty, comfort, glass of wine maybe, some nice food, comfortable shower, good sleep. It's like we used to say in our corner, race with uh, comfort, cruise with speed. We think it's very important that people are happy when they come back to the jetty and they launch the boat, they should feel, I have a perfect boat, I have a dream boat. My sailing was fantastic. This is what is important with our corner.
And we achieve that by us who is running the, the yard today. All of us are racing. So we know that when we are happy, the customer is going to be happy. We push the boat a little bit to the limit to know how it works. This boat is a little bit more finished. This is a 435 Mark II. It's ready for delivery and we'll go to Italy in a week. How do you choose the deck kit for the yachts? What's important? It's important for us, especially now when we go a little bit more international, that we have brands that is world spread. And, and the customer can get service more or less wherever he is on the world. So we stick to brands like B&G, Janmar, Harken. Most people have a dream to get uh, out on the blue water and long distance. Maybe not everybody do it, but we want the boat to be prepared for it. Thinking a little bit further into the future, what comes after the 50? Will you continue your collaboration with the Epicent and Pons? We are already thinking of the future, yes. And our future will be with Jeppesen and Pons, yes. Mm. Bigger, smaller? You never know. Bigger or smaller. <laughs> Perhaps both? Oh, maybe.